Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're a subscriber, thanks for returning. If you're not a subscriber, click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future uh, videos. I do reviews of items, home fragrance. Um, I'm getting through some old things right now, so some of these are, you know, obsolete. You're, you can't get them, but if you see them on a third party website or um, they make a return with either, you know, Homeworks or Scentsy or Bath and Body Works, then you can, you know, say, hey, I remember seeing that on YouTube, a review on this, and I think I'm going to like that. So I'm going to start with the Scentsy stuff. I have tons of wax. I am an independent consultant. I will throw my website down in the description in case you're interested in ordering anything. Right now, the spring and summer catalog just launched on the 1st of March, so there's lots of new products. I'm going to start getting into um, some spring wax that I still have that's current in the catalog so that I can uh, let you know how they are. Um, but right now I'm going to get through some of the winter things. That catalog has sailed, um, but you can always you know, make a note for yourself to order it next year if that's what you're interested in. So here we go. Um, some of these are Bring Back My Bars, which what that is is we vote as uh, customers on which scents we want them to bring back for a limited time. So this year it'll be, I don't know when the voting's gonna take place. It may have already for the June return. Um, but so I have a few of those and that's what that comes from is the bring back my bar votes. So the first one is Sweet Plum Pastry. This one is a huge hit. Everybody loves it. Every time it is on the voting board, people vote it back. Um, this is just your plum, it's sweet. And you get that bakery butter, butteriness, the pastry. It is really good. It's great for um, fall, winter. I'd say even transitioning from winter into spring. I don't know if I would uh, warm this in the summer because it is kind of a, it's a heavier bakery scent. I mean, it's not super heavy, but it's a bakery scent. And for me, those are usually my fall, winter scents. You might be different. Um, another one is breakfast in bed. This one is cinnamon. You get some apple, you get some berry. I think of like, it's not maple, but that's what I think of is like a French toast scent, but it's not French toast. It's so weird, it's hard to explain. I usually warm this one with a, um, the croissant, the croissant one, and you, you warm them both together and it's divine. So breakfast in bed is a good one. If you see that one around, grab it. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Um, another bring back my bar is Black Currant Bubbly. I warm this on Valentine's Day. So it's just black currant with some bubbly champagne scent. Maybe some berries are in there too. I don't have the scent descriptions in front of me. Um, I don't have time to do that today. I just want to get these out to you and uh, move on. So one that is in the catalog usually all the time is the black raspberry vanilla. This is just black raspberry and vanilla. So if you think you like that type of scent, you will like this one. It's just a classic scent that's been around for a long time. Got through Best in Snow. This is a great January scent. It's minty, it's cool, like fresh air. Not masculine. I try not to do masculine, and I have one in here I'll get to, but this one is sweet, a little minty, fresh air, coolness. This one's great for a January for our melt. Um, I had a couple cubes left of the Black Forest Pine. I've done a review on this one already in previous videos. It's just pine tree. There's no cinnamon, no peppermint. It's just a pine tree scent. I love it. I hope they bring this one back. It's a great winter scent. Uh, Wasail Wonderland. This was from a couple Christmases ago. It came out in a um, Sense of the Season collection. It's got some orange, clove, um, some cinnamon. It's like the simmering potpourri on the stove type scent. So this is, it's good for December, beginning of January. I, I've had it for a while, so I just wanted to get through it so it doesn't get funky. Um, Cozy Cardigan. This one was in the catalog. 
it was new a couple of years ago. Um, it's like a cozy cardigan. Cardigan. It reminds me of a dryer sheet, maybe. Um, it's not. It's like perfumey, but it's not super strong. It's not old lady perfume. It's a soft, not powdery, a uh, very light throw. So I will be honest with you, girls' bedroom, bathroom, maybe your laundry room. Not a living room scent, especially if you've got vaulted ceilings. It's not going to be a good throw for you. But it's a it's a pleasant, light scent. Um, I got through two of the winter apple teas. I think I've done this review on this before. Um, it's winter berry. It's apple. It's cinnamon. And it's like got a tea base. This is one of my favorite winter scents ever. I hope they keep bringing it back. I got through two of those. The wax turns kind of a funky color due to some of the oils that are in there, I think. Because I have another one that did that as well here. This one is Central Park Pralines. It's another bring back my bar. Maybe that one will come back again. This is Pralines Central Park. Like they're selling those roasted cinnamon almonds pralines, pecans from, you know, they're warm and they put them in the cone and you eat them in the, in the park or the carnival or wherever. That's what this smells like. Sugary, cinnamon, um, roasted pralines. It's a good one. Uh, another one, bring back my bar, banana nut bread, straight up banana nut bread. If this one comes back, it's always a reorder for me. Um, I don't put it in my, I don't even have a Scentsy Club anymore because it was getting out of hand. That's why I have so much wax. Um, so I just, now I'm, I'm back to just ordering as it comes out because I have way too much. Um, Pretty and Plum. That was in the catalog for winter. That is plum. It's kind of perfumey. Some cinnamon in there as well. Um, but this was a nice scent. I had this going with my um, Plum and White Woods, which is next. Plum and White Woods. I love this one. It's feminine. It's not like super, it's not like woodsy woodsy, but you get like that white winter scent with some plum in there. Um, it's not like smoky or anything, but it's, it's lovely and it it is a good throw in any room. Um, I love it in my bedroom and I loved it in my bathrooms for sure. So that's, that's a good one. Lavender and white balsam. That's what I have going right now in my house. This was a bring back my bar. It's lavender and just your white birch scent or balsam. Sorry. It's like got that tree base, some lavender in there, which makes sweetens it up a little bit. Very nice light scent. I have it in every warmer right now in every room. So I, I think it goes nicely anywhere. And then this was my least favorite. I was talking about the masculine. It's the Gridiron Rush. It came out when the NFL warmers first came out a few years ago. I mean, I get it. It's supposed to smell like grass, something like that. But it's, it's more like a um, like Irish spring soap or a deodorant or something like that. It's definitely masculine. Not for me, not a reorder for me. Um, okay, so that's it for Scentsy. I also got through two homeworks. This one is the Wild Fig and Red Current. This is from 2017. So I've been hoarding it. It's Red Current Quince uh, Mediterranean Fig Bergamot Cedar Woods. It's mostly Red Current and Cedar Woods and the, and the Fig. That's what you mostly smell. Um, a little bit of residue on the sides, but overall it was a good burn. Went all the way down to the clips. And that, I don't think he's, I don't think that one has been back for a while, if at all. And then I have the Royal Bellini. I don't know if this came back either ever, but I've had this since 2017. Um, sparkling peach, creme de cassis, prosecco, sugared strawberries. This is a great January scent. This one burned all the way down as well. A little bit of um, unevenness down there in the bottom, but overall, 
this is a good one. And I just finally had to get rid of these because they are from 2017. Um, when you don't have seals on your lids, it the scent just doesn't seem to stay as long. So that is all I got through for homeworks. And then for Bath and Body Works, I have two oils that I'm uh, in the wildflower plugs that I'm using right now. And I have the Frosted Coconut Snowball. That one is Toasted Coconut, Vanilla Musk, and Whipped Cream. I have that in my laundry room coming into the house from the garage. And then coming into my front entryway, I have Chocolate Lava Cake. That one is scrumptious chocolate cake, gooey cocoa center, powdered sugar dusting. And that just smells like a chocolate cake for sure. Frosted coconut snowball. I'm not really getting a strong throw from that one, but sometimes they're duds. Um, two candles that I've gotten through Bath and Body Works. Vanilla Bean Noel. This is from 2020. That's when they had the glass lids. Note it burned clean, um, but then it starts to get kind of grody at about this point. So I'm done with it. I'm over it. Not that it looks gross, because that I mean it doesn't look too bad. It just starts to smell burned sugar. I mean, typical with the vanillas, right? I mean, that's just what that's what happens to my nose. I don't know if it happens to the rest of you, but it does to me. This is the vanilla bean marshmallow fluff vanilla cake. So it's got all of that. Vanilla and sugar, so it's just bound to start to smell gross after a while. Uh, and then I did Vanilla Snowflake. I liked the label on this one. This is from 2019. And the scent notes on this are frozen vanilla, iced fur needles, mint leaf, coconut flakes. Definitely get the frozen vanilla and the mint leaf. You get some coconut flakes. I didn't get any fur needle scent, which is good because I was not going for the tree part of this. I um, I was just I wanted to burn the vanillas and get those out of my um, collection because I have since learned that the vanillas just do not work for my nose. And it seems like a waste to me if I'm only, you know, not even getting it all the way down to the bottom. So I'm kind of avoiding buying anything that's got vanilla basis to it. So um, that is what I've got going on since January, February, beginning of February. Um, so I'm hoping to get into some spring stuff. I know I said I was not going to buy Bath and Body Works candles because I have enough. But lo and behold, I had a coupon and it was $12.95. So what's a girl to do? I did go and buy a few. So... I think I might get through some of those pretty soon because it's been snowy and today it's sunny, but it's been cold and I think we're ready for spring. And so I'm going to just start getting through some of those um, spring, summer, transition scents, get some of those going. So uh, if you, like I said, if you have not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Leave, leave me some comments. I love to hear your thoughts. And um, I'll see you at the end of the month.